Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, back with more Dark Souls 2, and as you can see, I've done some more very serious leveling up. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to have to readjust my stats because my stats are just absolutely insanely ridiculous because I am killing every enemy in the area over and over and over again. So they pose no threat to me and so I level up ridiculously. And it pays off pretty darn well. I don't know, maybe later in the game I'll just be like, I've spent so much time in this game. This is one of the regrets of my life. Ah, oh, no. Playing video games is one of my favorite things to do. It's hard for me to imagine regretting spending too much time on a game. And for all the rage inducing that this has done, I have to admit, Dark Souls 2 is fun. It's certainly not one of the worst games I have played. Yes, I even cleared out all of those weird thingies over there. I don't know what the fuck... Apparently they were pyromancers of some kind back in the day. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! One of the things I wanted to show you guys... Yeah, I, I killed those motherfuckers too. One of the things I wanted to show you guys... Where is it? There were several things that I got as far as drops go. So I wanted to go over all of those drops with you guys, including the silver talisman that I could not find for some reason um, in one of my previous videos. Transform to blend into environment. So let's read a lot of stuff here. A tiny charm embedded with imitative magic. Used to transform to something to blend in. There was a magic in Dark Souls 1, right? From Ulaseel Dusk sold it to you where you could transform into an object? Use this talisman. Okay, let me did use two of them. To hide from invaders. Only provides the most superficial camouflage, but sometimes that is enough to do the trick. Truth. Alright, so there's that one. The Triclops Snake Troaches. Uh, is that gonna be... Hold on, is that an item? Triclops Snake Troaches. Okay, we're gonna go through this. Wait, there it is. Triclops Snake Troaches. Temporarily boosts Petrify Resist. Troaches that exude the scent of rust. Yummy. Temporarily boosts Petrify Resist. Verbal histories often mention Saint Elizabeth. Her uniquely concocted medicines and potions are still widely used today. Whoever that particular saint was. The Prisoner's Hood. Prisoner's Hood. And that came from the, like, really pale hollow holding the torch down there. Prisoner's Hood. Rags worn by imprisoned hollows. This appears to have been worn on the head. It doesn't exactly look like a hood. Judging by its looks and apparent virtues... Virtues? It has virtues? There really is no more... Or this really is no more than a tattered scrap of cloth. It still carries the stench of a hollow. Or in that, in, in other words, of a dead person. So that's, that's delicious. Raises item discovery. That's interesting. Is that the thing I could buy from the old hag merchant? Was it a prisoner's hood? I feel like it was something a little more useful than that. Then there's the sea bow. And that is a bow and arrow. Not a bow and arrow, but just a bow. Hence the term sea bow. Okay, that was incredibly redundant. Anyway, a bow built for seafaring marine warriors. Has an extended range for hunting down sea monsters from afar. A great sea lies to the north of Drang Lake, and beyond that is an unexplored continent that is home to things inhuman. And then there is the Varangan Shield. Let's see... Varangian Shield, there we are. Uh, it's not the best in regards to all the other things out there. We've still got the Watch Dragon Parma to um, boost other defenses. Let's go, so, won't use it, but let's go ahead and read it. Small Varangian Shield engraved with a strange pattern. A former king launched a campaign to capture these terrors of the high seas, but rather than imprison them, forced them into hard labor at No Man's Wharf. And hence, we are there. Then the Varangian Cuffs. Did I already read those? Well, I said I mentioned to read them in here, so apparently I did not. Cuffs worn by Varangians that terrorize nearby seas, a.k.a. pirates. Arr! The coastline stretches far in northern Drangleic. Beyond this, yeah, that. Varangian Sword. And I could use it right now. It's really not exceptional or great in any way. So what's the longsword? Classic longsword. I actually got that as a drop. Fire longsword I've had from the beginning. 
Got the Lone Star as a drop at some point recently, so that's 112. Varanian Sword, one, yeah, very unexceptional. Straight sword wielded by Varangians and engraved with a skull. A former king launched a campaign to capture these terrors, yeah. Um, the king, racked with fear and suspicion, began to see the progenitor of the curse progenitor of the curse in anything and everything. During his reign, sorcerers in particular suffered dreadful persecution. Progenitor... What curse? Robbie! Robbie, where are you? Robbie! Okay, he's not here. He's, he's nowhere around. He's not hiding in the background. This is not a Thursday on which I'm recording. This is during other times. So, okay. The progenitor of the curse. What, what does that even mean? That was some interesting stuff right there. Glad I got that. Varangian armor. Oh, I got two of those. Cool. Um, okay, armor worn by Varangians. Same stuff there. Heavy boots. Now, the heavy boots, where are they? Seriously, where are they? Heavy boots? I got the heavy boots and a few other things from those giant claw-wielding monsters. They dropped the heavy boots. You remember those guys from uh, Dark Souls 1? The heavy boots made an appearance there. Boots favored by pyromancers. They appear tattered, but in fact the fabric is reinforced with pyromancy. Magic is no show. It is an art that allows mere mortals to glimpse into the very fabric of what is and what may be. So apparently those guys, I've never seen a sh mere hollow transformed into into a demon. Usually it was the flames of chaos that transformed beings into demons. Maybe these pyromancers well they couldn't really have been disciples of the uh, of what was it? Laurentius of the Great Swamp? I think it was his name in Dark Souls 1 where you gave him you gave him a view of the chaos flame you got by um oh come on now. It was before you actually tackled the um the old witch of Isolith. Uh why are details uh, escaping me right now? You defeated something before you got into Isolith's ruins, wasn't it? No 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 no. It was when you initially joined the Chaos Covenant with the fair lady, or Quelan. And she gives you the Chaos Flame at that point. And then once you so you have to defeat Quelag first you join the Covenant, get the Chaos Flame, then you go to Laurentius, he has to see it, you show it to him, he says, thank you for showing me this, I'm going to go down to the Blight Town, check it out, you go down to Blight Town after he leaves, <coughs> you're welcome, I know you want to hear that, and then he goes hollow, so he really didn't have a chance to teach anyone about this Chaos Pyromancy, but aside from Chaos Pyromancy and Chaos Flames, no beings are transformed into demons otherwise. Did Pyromancers get a hold of the Chaos Flame and do some experimenting and get fucked up? Is this something that, uh, is this a being that's lasted just for aeons upon aeons through multiple ages of light and dark? But usually, can beings other than gods survive those, you know, the ups and downs of the age of light and the age of dark? Um, so wait, who knows? Who knows how those things got to where they are? Maybe Dark Souls 2 has its own story that it will tell later on in that regards. Then there is the Tattered Cloth Manchette, and that is once again pyromancy stuff. No, not the cloth robe, the manchette. Oh, manchette, where are you? Uh, was it simply the Tattered Cloth Robe? Because that's more pyromancer stuff. Same thing, but no, I got something called the Tattered Cloth Manchettes. Mm, is that a, is that a helm? Tattered Cloth Hood also got from those guys. That's just simply the Tattered Cloth Robe. It's not a manchette. Is it here? There we are. The Tattered Cloth Manchettes. Um, again, got from those guys. Um, used by Pyromancers. I was like, where the heck is it? So really poor in defense, but if you wanted to cosplay as a, uh, as a Pyromancer in this game, you could do so with those items. That should be all of the items that I got from last time. So on to new areas. I did not go past this point. I cleared out everything up to this point. So here we go. 
on to the new stuff. A life gem and a homeward bone. Thank you, thank you. And, um... Okay, it's like... How no, that's too, that's too far down. Will I lose a bunch of health by jumping down here? No, I won't lose any. Visions of back. Back. Thank you. You, you were incredibly helpful. Ah, uh, la, 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 la. There's still, there's a guy there. Where is, it? Where, is it? Where is the other? There he is. Oh, motherfucker, I was blocking that shit. I'm gonna go back here anyway. Let's go down here. Let's see what we got. Enemies. Oh. Enemies. Yes. Yes, enemies. Fire arrow. Oh, boy. One guy's awake. Okay, get away from him. Come on up, bud. Actually, stay right there. That's great. That is... Magnificent. No! That is not magnificent. Okay, I am surrounded. This is really fucking bad. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, and that can still hit you? This is a bad area. This is a very bad area! God damn it all and fuck. Okay. Back we go. God. God fucking damn it. That was, that was bad. That went horribly well. Horribly well? Horribly bad? No, just playing horrible. It just went playing horribly. I was just playing horrible. God damn it all and fuck. You have to jump down there. It's not like you can just go back immediately to where you came from. I'm not giving up. I'm going to keep on going. This, I can definitely kill these guys. That was, after I thought, after I got the jump attack, I thought, okay, this will be, this will be easy. But I got the attack, the attack, yeah, I got the attack of the other guy and I got the attention of the other guy. I was going to jump behind him. I was going to do a sneak attack, got one guy's attention. Then I was going to do, then after the jump attack, I thought I could just do the one. And then it didn't happen. You guys even know what the fuck I'm talking about? Let me try, as I'm going over, let me try to detail this again. I was originally going to sneak up on the one. I don't know if I was, I probably wasn't moving slowly enough, but I was going to try to sneak up on that one being. But the one in front of him saw me, so I could not sneak up. Then, um, I thought it would continue to move up, but it didn't continue to move up. It stopped midway through the stairs, so I was like, cool, I can get a jump attack on this one guy. And I did. But after the jump attack, then I was stuck between the two, and I could not move forward. Okay, fuck you, I'm getting my souls back. Okay. I didn't even kill one. I didn't even kill one of them. How many souls was that? Was that worth it? I don't even know, I shouldn't have too many souls, I did leveling up earlier. I was just like, give me my souls! I want my souls! Let's do this again. How can I entertain you guys without editing software and I have to run back to the same goddamn fucking place over and over and over again? How am I gonna do this? Should I sing a little song? Would that do the trick? I am playing Dark Souls 2 is going kind of bad like a witch's brew. I think I'm gonna die and die something awful. Something, something, something that rhymes with awful. I can't sing and I cannot rhyme. I'm gonna die time after time. It's gonna be bad and I'm gonna suck. If you don't like my playing, you can go fuck the duck. That was, that was a masterpiece right there. That was beautiful.
I'm inspired. I'm gonna keep playing now, because that was so lovely. Okay, guys. Come at me, bro! Come at me! Wait. Hold on. We're gonna try to do this intelligently this time. Are you gonna stop midway? Are you gonna come all the way up? Uh, motherfucker. Hello? Oh, there you are. Ha! Yeah! No. Just no. Just no. Just... Well, no. Why is he not... What? Does he know what he's doing? Oh. Both of Oh, shit. Both coming up now. Oh, wait, are, aren't they? Aren't they? AI, what are you doing? Hello? Come up. Thank you. I don't know why you missed, but I'm very glad that you did. That's what I wanted to do. Just trying to have, I'm like, why is the fall? The falling attack was just like completely missing. Okay, come on up. Hello. Yes. Yes. You you want to come up? You want to try to hurt me? Okay. Walk slowly off the edge so I can get the drop on it. Okay, that is not what I wanted to do at all. You're gonna come up. You're gonna come. You're gonna. Okay! I, I'll accept that. Uh. Yes! Haha! -ha. Victory is mine. That only took forever and a day. I get my souls back too. Ha. Huh. Only 500. I don't think that was I don't think that was worth it. Hello to whoever's a, there should be a pirate of some kind over here. Hi! Why the goddamn fucking hell did I, that not Whenever they're in the middle of attacking, you cannot break their poise. Oh, what the hell is that? What the hell is that thing? Oh, you're gonna stick around? Okay. Um. That was weird. Isn't this where I could have dropped off before? Pretty sure it is. I'm gonna go back and check that real... Okay, I say real quick. I may not be very quick, but we're gonna ch go back and check it anyway. Isn't this the area where I just came from? Whoa! Hello, camera. Yeah, it's the... Okay, it's the exact same area. So you can drop down. I wonder if you drop down, since this door's closed, we'll... Oh, hi! Hi there, fuckface! I can't see you, but that's not important. Apparently he decided to come out. He was, he was tired of waiting. He was tired of just hanging around. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, now this is the area that I was trying to get to before. I could see it, but I couldn't get to it. What new perils await me here? You're one of them, apparently. Come on up! Um, what are you. Whoa. That was glitchy as shit. Oh, yeah, and I, tur um, I found out what that l giant light thing was last time I um, got on the video. It is loud as shit down there. See that right there when I when you use the what the fuck ever it is and you put in the stone in the ground? You get that. That's what turns on and it drives a lot of these fuckers crazy where they can't come out into the light. It only does the light up the area, it drives off some enemies, and that's great. And that's about it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching it. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you disliked it, hit that dislike button. And if you really liked it, be sure to share with a friend, subscribe, and join the freaks! I love you, and God bless.